What's up guys, this is your friendly neighborhood comic book dude, and this is a first for us here on my channel. We don't normally do box breaks. I try to do uh, movie reviews usually, sometimes we do some snack related content or um, collectible comic showcase related stuff, but I'm a big magic player and got my hands on some collector boxes early, so I thought maybe a good way to kick off some content here on the channel would be box break. Actually, it's going to be one of two box breaks. I do have another collector box, but uh, tonight we're just going to do this one. Uh, probably do the second one tomorrow, maybe during the day. Um, I do run a shop, and tomorrow night we're going to have our, you know, the start of our pre-releases, so not going to be a whole lot of time between now and then, so no time like the present, all right? But show you guys this really quick. This bad boy is sealed. You know, no tampering, no anything. Definitely don't do this regularly so I'm not sure if the bottom of this box or any of the codes or stuff that like, you guys see here might like tell you something more about this than I would know already. Or you know your average person would know. But if you guys are ready, I'm ready for it, right? So Crack this bad boy open. This is the My kitty's trying to come and say hi. Sorry, kitty. We gotta, gotta keep this a no kitty zone for while we're opening. Okay, so that looks to be box topper. Six packs. Six packs. I think what we'll do is we're gonna slip this box topper in the middle. Put that there. Star Lord, I love you, but you gotta stay down right now, okay? Are we ready for this, guys? First ever opening on my channel. Two days early before pre-release on these bad boys. I know there's already other big YouTubers have got their hands on this stuff, so. But who knows? Maybe we'll open something crazy. Maybe we'll get like a serialized card or something, right? I've got realistic expectations. I don't think I'm opening a one ring, but I would not say no to one of the serialized ser serialized uh, soul rings, which are floating around. So we got so far we got some basic stuff here. Yeah, quick beam, Bilbo, Mountain. Ah, uh, here's where the good good starts. Horn of the Mark, foil. Sharky, Tyrant of the Shire. Sauron, Lord of the Rings. That is awesome. I did start opening set boosters earlier today. And uh, I was kind of hoping that uh, I would see this guy, but I hadn't seen him yet. We got a Gollum. We got a Frodo. We got a Quick Beam. A Rosie. And a Foil Aragorn. That's a not, not a bad start, right? So we'll set that stuff off to the side there. All right. Ready? Round two. Mountain. Then we started on the good good again. We got Pippin. Born upon wind. We cast a spell this turn as though they had that. Ah, flash. Draw a card. Clean hope. Peregrine took. Buckle Fury. Fury. There's a Boro Palace in the tribe. Wow. Okay. Knights of Storm of Saruman. Extended foil. When you cast your second spell, you turn copy of that seems good. <laughs> the real tough thing about opening product early, you know, a lot of people will talk about the 
you know, va value of the things that they're seeing and showing off. And it's, it's really tough because, uh, I mean, TCG, I just saw updated today, you know, it, it loaded in some Lord of the Rings cards, but realistically, like, the prices are going to be, like, super in flux. You know, we're not even at pre-release weekend yet. Um, I personally don't, you know, when people come in, like, asking me about stuff at my shop, I personally would not recommend buying singles for at least two weeks. But, you know, some people are in Moana. They can't wait, right? Got Fog, Goblin, Ookduk, Swamp. Ovalia, Sackville Baggins. Seems good. Fall of Care, Andros. Whenever the future comes. Man, uh, the Amass, the Amass bringing that back seems really good. I'm not sure it will do as well as the first War of the Spark when Amass was a thing, but. Samwise. Saruman of Many Colors Showcase seems good. Delated Halfling. I'm not sure. I know there's supposed to be a new type of foil in this set called Surge Foil. I don't know what it looks like yet. I wonder if it's just, we'll kind of know when we see it. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. We got a Smaug token. I think I kind of saw that as I was opening the pack, but I didn't realize what it was. I'm really hot for this. I think that this is, uh, this is a great thing, especially the flavor of making 14 tokens. Awesome. Alright. Where are we at? We're at... Pack number four. All right. So far, good stuff, but nothing, you know, nothing that's gonna break that, break our channel, right, guys? So we got Blade, Swarming, Mamba View, Troll of Kazid, Shortcut, Bill Fernie, Bree Swindler, Plains, Isidore, Fateful Strike, Legendary Instant. I don't even remember. Last time I saw something like that, if that's even a thing. Destroy target creature. If its controller has more than four cards in hand, they exile cards from your hand. Good difference. Wow. Okay. Radagast of the Brown. It seems racist. Travel through Cardad. Caradras. Frodo Baggins. Another Aragorn. A Golem. Foil Knights. Well, Gandalf Westward Voyager Extended. Um, that looks to be a commander card too, so that's kind of cool. And then a food token with an orc army. Numero Cinco. Soldier token. Back over. That. Smite. Witching. Enstrap. Steel. Island. Scroll of Visitor. Saga. You know, I did see one of these earlier. Another horn. The gaffer. What the heck is that? To be at each end step, if you gain three more, like this turn, draw a card. Seems like it could combo with like life gain stuff. Three rings for the Elven King. Hey. Oh, I think that this is a, a box topper. Um, I think somebody did tell me that you could open these and collect the hex in addition to as box toppers. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't think they own the rings of breaker too, just make many pairings. Frodo Baggins foil. Saruman of Many Colors Showcase Foil. That is a nice upgrade. We had a regular one, I think, in the last pack or two packs ago. That is cool. Alright. Oh. That's our box topper. So, number six. We're halfway there, guys. It's not too late. You guys can still get a serialized, right? Tournament of Golem. Dreadful Storm, Quarrel's End, Bitter Downfall, Samwise, Plains, Minus Tirith. Enter the battlefield tap unless you control legendary creature. Hmm, okay. Display of power. This spell can't be copied. Copy any number of target instant or sorcery spells you may choose new targets for the copies. Okay, alright. Trap the Trespasses, Secret Council. Okay. Gimli. 
Gandalf the Grey. That's cool. Flame of Anor. Chilomonic control wizard. Yes. So this is the type of stuff that they're going to want you to get copied. Samwise Gamgee Showcase Foil. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Box topper. Predictions? I'll give you a second. Are you getting an ancient tomb or a bajuka bag? <laughs> or something in between. Dragon and Homeward Path. <sighs> not a bajuka bog, but I I equally not very happy though. Alright, well, we're past the halfway point. Or we're at the halfway point. So let's see. Alright. Esquire. Shalab's Ambush, Breaking, Nasty End, Saruman. So, I think by now, a couple packs in, we've kind of figured this out, right? When you hit the land in the middle, that seems to be a foil map land, is when you start to hit all the good good. So, Aragorn Company Leader, Foil, Rangers of Ithilien. Uh, wow, okay. So, stealing stuff. Cavern Horde Dragon. We love dragons. Spell cost X less to cast for X is the greatest number of artifacts my opponent controls. Mm, I don't really want my opponents to have artifacts, but okay. Flying Trample Haste. Whenever Cavern Horde Dragon does combat damage to a player, you create a treasure token for each artifact that player controls. Uh, I mean, like... Uh, this relies heavily on your opponents having to have artifacts, so we can play against opponent who's not playing artifacts, you've got a 9-drop, 6-6 six, six flying trample haste. It seems like a lot. Uh, maybe. Frodo Baggins. Oh my god. Another Bajuka Bog. Pippin's Bravery. Wizards Rockets. Into Battlefield. Tapped. Sacrifice Wizards Rockets. X-Man. Colors. Oh, this track is pretty cool. 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 Gladiol. Open Queen. That, I believe, is the Gladiol. Uh, deck commander extended foil seems good. This combat damage your player. Exile the top card. Now you may play that card this turn. Uh, that's not bad. That is not bad. I actually could see this getting modern play. 
The Ring Goes South. I don't know those are really too. Shaleb Dread Weaver. Um, I feel like there's two Shalebs in this. I opened, I think I opened. <coughs> Excuse me, I opened up a green black one. Okay. Legolas again. <coughs> Sour on the Dark Lord. I think I opened a regular art of this earlier today, so this is a cool upgrade. Lash of the Balrog foil, minus Tirith foil, food, dust, something on the back of this. Ballistic Boulder, token artifact creature construct, flying to one. What the heck? That is silly. 10. Fun fact, so this one's got a treasure as the back token for this. Um, they did a treasure in the last set, um, March of the Machines, that was uh, basically looked like the Infinity Gauntlet. That was my favorite treasure. It's still my favorite treasure, but this pile here, this pile of treasure, this is pretty close. This is like number two. All right, so Enrage 2. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin. Shire Scarecrow, Shower of Arrows. Prince Inrahil the Fair, Oath of the Grey Host, and then we hit an island with the Belagare Sea. Flame of Anor, regular foil. The Watcher in the Water. Whoa, what is this guy? He's a legendary Kraken. Ah, a 9 9 for 5. Alright, what is the catch here? Watcher in the Water is the battlefield. Tap with 9 stun counters. There it is. If you draw a card during an opponent's turn, create a 1-1 blue tentacle. Whenever a tentacle you control dies, untap up to one target Kraken and put a stun counter on up to one target. Okay, so, I mean, I've only been playing Magic since about Theros. And even, like, when I play Commander, I don't think I've ever gotten something with a stun counter. Are they, like, time time counters, like, where they come off every turn? What, what entitles you to remove a stun counter? That is going to be my homework. Treebeard, Gracious Host. Cool, 0, 5, 4 drop, Trample Ward 2. When Treebeard enters, you make two foods, and whenever you gain life, put that many plus one. Oh, okay, that seems cool. So, Commander card looks like very clearly probably in the food deck. Nazgul, Legolas, Frodo Baggins. Samwise the Stouthearted, Extended Foil. This looks like a scene card, I could be wrong. Ding the Glinting Dagger. See, the thing about a lot of these... Wow, that's really cool, too. The thing about a lot of these um, extended arts is they could just be extended art or they could be scene cards. It's it's really hard to say. Down to the last two. You need, you need my name. I'll catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. You need, you need my name. Alright, well, the one that was going to be last is still going to be last, so... Drum roll for number 11. Alright. Elven Farsight. Stalwarts of Ogoloth. Lambas. Easterling Vanguard. Sound on the White. Shadow Summoning. Creep 2 tap on the White 3. Uh, not terrible. Swamp. Hey, the Shire. I don't think I've seen a Shire yet. This is cool. Shire is about to tap unless you control a legendary creature. Tap for green or tap for one in green. Tap an untapped creature you control and create a food. Uh, that seems good. That seems like a great like defensive tactic if you've got a uh, man to play around with. Call of the Ring. I think I opened a regular one of these earlier today. At the beginning of your upkeep, the ring tempts you when I reach creatures. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor Gardner, definitely someone in her earlier farm, your field commander. Isengard Sermon's Fortress, a seiju who shelters all. Okay, this is another box topper card. That's cool. Gimli Mordenful Avenger, this is a rare Gimli, so I don't think I've seen this guy yet. That's cool. Gollum Patient Plotter. And Mary Esquire of Rohan. Extendo slash possibly scene foil. First strike as long as it's equipped. Whenever you attack with Mary and another legendary creature draw card. 
so Mary is definitely supposed to be like Boros equipment uh, fodder. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the part where I gotta give you my shameless plug stuff again. You know, I, I want to start doing more of these things. I don't want to just be another, you know, guy on YouTube cracking packs. I mean, like I said, I do have other content. Um, my, my greatest passion is um, uh, movies and movie reviews. I've got a segment on my channel. If you subscribe that, you can find it's Movies in Minutes, where we're, talk we're constantly talking about new movies and kind of trying to help inform you know the masses about new movies but it's not just me sitting there i have new guests on every week and uh, it's, it's definitely a different take on movie reviews you know don't take my word for it take a watch um you know like comment subscribe let me know if you think there was a better way for me to do these openings you know i actually did buy uh, a mount to use for this uh today and the thing was trash and did not work so i just definitely came up with a cool little last minute setup with my phone as an overhang and uh, it seems like it worked well, but again, you know, give me give me your God's honest opinion. I will definitely take it into account. So, Act 12. Alright. So, Rally at Hornburg. Revive the Shire, Isolation of Orthane, Hobbit Sting, Faramir, Rising of the Dead. Okay, here we go. Forest. Tom Bombadil regular foil. That is really cool. I did already open a, a showcase Tom Bombadil in a set pack earlier. Um, kind of funny i know i'm opening a, a collector box um i kind of just do it I, I do these actually every set myself uh, based on the amount of boxes i buy i usually buy two collectors with any set and uh, i'm not a big fan of foil though i mean you know open these cool ones and if there's really cool foils you know it's an excuse for me to trade or sell to kind of make up for the the massive hit i just took to my bank account but so tom bombadil foil though he'll probably be up for sale guys honestly it's uh, not a card i I mean, I, I could see making a Tom Bombadil deck for Sagas. It's really cool. Just the foil just does nothing for me, though. Moria. Witch King. Bringer of Ruin. I have not seen one of these yet. It looks like... kind of looks like a, a dragon or a guy, like, coming out of a dragon. Remember Witch King, Bringer of Ruin, attacks defending player, sacrifice the creature, the least power of my creature. Uh, this guy totally needs a spot in my Negan Commander deck. Gandalf. Friend of the Shire. Rivendell. I don't think I've seen one of these yet. Rivendell enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary creature. Yeah, they all do that. Add blue or for two, scry two, activate only if you control. A lot of these seem, they, they very much give me like vibes of the castles from Eldraine. Um, like coming in tapped unless there's a, a condition mat and then, you know, doing something for a few mana. Um, I gotta recheck them, but really so far the ones that we, we did on the on the video none of them really like blew me away Mirkwood bats. Oh, that hurts. That's definitely a scene card, but a scene common the last pack oof. Dunland Crayban Nope Soar on the Necromancer showcase foil with a food um, I don't think I saw any I mean I could be wrong You know, we definitely splashed by some of the common stuff pretty quick but um, I I gotta I gotta do some looking and figure out what a surge foil looks like because I don't know if we got any. I mean, most of these look like they're foil. That's you know they're cool looking, but what's that rainbow is the surge part? That's cool. But that is 12 packs and a box topper from a collector box of balloons, which does not officially release until next week however if you did pre-order it um your lgs should have those ready for pickup if you're doing a pre-release in this weekend um i do have a second box here um but like i said we'll probably hold that off until tomorrow we'll do uh, one more video we'll throw this up tonight hopefully it'll give you guys a reason to subscribe so you can uh, get notified when uh, i do that other box break and you know I, i've got 
Oh, let's see. I mean, for this set, I got four set, two jumpstart, two collector, commander decks, and uh, the starter decks. Um, I did already start cracking into a set. I probably won't do any more breaks of this regular thing. If I get my hands on more collector, maybe we'll see what's what. But thanks for coming to this inaugural video, guys. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Then your friendly neighborhood comic book dude. Catch ya.